everybody has a contributed to make whether by complying to the public health measures which are put in place or to make material contribution to the fight against COVID-19. It is always a pleasure for us to see Namibians coming on board. Dr. Shangula says the country went through some tough times, such as lockdowns and deprivation, but says those challenges formed part of the country's resilience and success. It is with this in mind that the Deb Marine Namdeb Foundation and Eco Atlantic donated health equipment to the ministry worth nine million and four million dollars respectively. The two companies believe it's only prudent for the corporate citizens to ensure that the health of the nation is catered for. The health and well-being of the nation is, uh, is, is paramount. And I think therefore we align to the efforts that uh, the government of Namibia is making uh, through the Ministry of uh, Health and Social Services. And, and I think uh, it is within this real context that we are, that, that we are sitting to, to here to say that um, it's our small contribution. Um, in terms of ensuring that as a nation uh, we, we look after the, the, the health and well-being of, of our citizens. In various uh, social responsibilities and we're only responding to the call of government that private sector must aid government in fighting the epidemic. The donation includes ventilators, vital sign monitors and personal protection equipment. Namibia has recorded 61 cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours with infections among cleaners, health workers and the fishing industry being reported almost on a daily basis. Daniel Nadunia, BC News, Venthook.